Hi everyone, Bantana here, and welcome back to the Monthly Water Tournament from SD League. Today we have Razman vs Medi, the second game, and Razman has put in the middle of the screen, Bandana, I love you. That's what I'm chuckling at at the moment. Let's see what we've got today. So, Razman playing as the fifth panzer, his favourite division. And over on the left, in red, we have Medi playing as the 27th. I thought he was going to be 20, 39th. That's, uh, yeah, 27th, okay. Be interesting to see how they perform on here. Obviously, similar in some ways to the 39th. Let's have a look at what Medi's got down first. I think he's done. I can still see Razman adjusting units. So, Mot Razvedka heading up to the front. Some Spets Razvedka also heading up to there. Spets Razvedka to the center. Defensive positioning, Mot Razvedka pushing up to here as well. Oh, wait, hang on. Where are they going? Ooh. One of them's going there. And the other one's deploying there, and then move. Okay, okay. Those guys up to there, so a defensive positioning. We have a command and a couple of iglers going in the middle. Fine, very defensive there. Quite aggressive down here, perhaps. So we've got some iglers, we've got some, a sprut, very good. And the ranges on this map aren't always huge, so this is a good position for it down here, because the ranges between these tree lines aren't massive. Uh, we've got a strata down there and a T80 BVK, so quite a strong presence here. A little bit aggressive, but not too aggressive. Over on the other side with Razman. He loves his looks. He has some at this side as the game starts, and a Jaeger Alfkel heading up this way. He's going to try and get around the back with that Lux, perhaps, or even with... The, I think it is the Lux, isn't it? It is indeed. Jaeger Alfkel going up to that building there. We've got a Milan coming up to sit in here. A couple of the Milans for the center, along with the Jaeger Alfkel. Pretty standard setup there, and a Roland 2. We've got an Alouette that's going to spot all this stuff up here. We've got a Jaeger Alfkel coming in here as well. Uh, we've got another Milan 1, uh, Leo 203, and a Roland heading into the middle here. And over here, we've got some Flieger Force Pioneer Armbusts and an M48 heading in these buildings here. He much subscribe to Bandana down as well now. And I think he redid the Bandana I Love You one. Yes, folks, subscribe to my channel. It helps me get my name out there with publishers and developers when I have more subscriptions. And that's good because it means I get more games to look at and can produce more content and get you reviews and things. Also, remember, do check out Razman. I'm sure everybody who comes to my channel, for the most part, knows Razman. He's a very well-known Wargame Red Dragon player. He has a bigger channel than mine. He mostly focuses on Wargame, but he'll obviously post his games as well. So MiG-23 comes in there and gets immediately smashed by the Roland 2. I was thinking of a good word there. It got smashed. That's as simple as that. We do have this push going on here. A little bit of skirmishing at the top, perhaps, but really, this is the push here. Medi wants in this bottom point. He's actually going more aggressively here than I expected. I thought he was going to sort of push up to a more solid front line, but he's actually trying to get his Motraz Vedka pushed right into here. But he is being met by that Leo 2A3, which was a good shout by Razman. Obviously, that means that there's going to be two heavy tanks down there. And it means that Medi perhaps doesn't have the advantage he hoped he would have. Oh, down goes the BMP2. T80 opening up on the Milan there. That Leo needs to get up there to support it. Because the Milan 1 won't survive very long against the T80. Skirmishing going on at the top. The Lux and the Eger Avkul engaging on the BMP2 and the Mot Razvedka. And in the middle we do see that Sprut laying down some fire. There's a sprut at this bottom end as well. That 2A3 probably isn't going to get close enough. Yeah, as soon as the 2A3 came in range, the T80 BVK backed off very sensibly, as that would have not been pleasant to lose a command this early. Tornado Cluster coming in, though. It's going to go straight for that point. The Strella's not going to fire in time. This could be nasty because it's going to get stuck on the building, perhaps. Nice strike. It does go down, though. The Cluster Bomber does go down, so an expensive call-in. It has scared off the Command Tank. Didn't get the kill, however. 
Try that Talon M was destroyed. There's a command in the bottom now. It was previously plus five to Medi. Razman needs to get a command in the center as well. A marker has gone down at the back of the center there from Medi to attack that Roland. Let's have a look at the other side. Oh yeah, SU-27, sorry, SU-17 even rocket coming in. Completely misses. I assume that was targeted on ground. Roland 2 does return fire. Does manage to get a hit, so it'll be repairing for a while, but will not get the kill on this occasion. Apache rocket being brought in to deal with the mess at the top there, and there isn't actually any air defense up there, so that should have a good time clearing up those units. Unfortunately, Razman did lose his Lux and his Jäger Aufkull. But he managed to hold down here from that early push. That Sprut, however, getting closer and closer. And I can imagine Medi is going to be looking for a side shot on that Leo 2A3 with one of his units. The Sprut or indeed the tank once it's repaired. If he can get that into some crossfire, that'll be nasty. Prodzerki moving around the bottom here. Obviously will pose a big threat to that M48. As they do have that lovely RPG-29, 21 pen. There they go, immediately kills it, as I say. <laughs> M48 wrecked. There are a couple of fucks up here, but again, they won't do much against it. However, they are getting ripped apart by the infantry in that building. The fucks coming down there will open fire on it, but if it gets a shot off and... Oh, it's just moving. Is it stopping the fire? It's not. Is this on a move order? It's on a move order rather than an attack move. It's going to die. That is not great. And Medi was obviously busy elsewhere and didn't realise. That's a shame he lost that. He would have won that fight. There are times to attack move and there are times to just give a move order. Unfortunately, that one wasn't the time for just a standard move. Razman gets a command in the centre. But Medi with a lovely advantage in points here. This has been a good early start for Medi, even if he didn't get his push on the bottom, as Razman didn't buy any commands. And Razman now having to fight his way back into the center at the bottom here. He does control most of the center at the top, but really, he's got a Jaeger Afkul and a Milan 2 up there. There's nothing really there that is truly going to stop a heavy push. He has the Apache at the back, and he's got some infantry coming in at that side. HE Bomber coming in there. Does manage to drop on the Jaeger Aufkull. Was going for the Leo. HE Bomber does go down. And the Jaeger Aufkull do survive. As does the Leo which was backed out. Not quite a fast enough response from the anti-air jets to get involved properly there. But they weren't really needed. Here comes that Apache at this side. There is no AA over here. Absolutely zero AA. If Medi has an aircraft, that will be brought in. But otherwise, this is already over. That Apache is going to make a mess. TADBV over there getting some shots off on the Leo 2A3. Leo 2A3 seemingly not returning fire at the moment. There it goes now. Good hit, but it's taken some punishment already. Two hits, three hits. And the TADBV smokes off. It's done its damage. TDBV rolling forward was going to go for another hit along with the TADBVK that was coming in. But Razman very sensibly pulling back there, not wanting to lose that Leo 2A3. Because really, right now, the only reason Medi cannot push the bottom is because of that Leo 2A3. He needs to keep it alive. Still continuing to clear up up here with the Apache. Needs to be careful with it though. Because sooner or later, AA will arrive. Anti-air jets flying in the middle there to strafe the Sprut. And they are getting out of there. Razvedka also killed. T-80 BV moving up at the bottom here. Backing off from the Carl Gustav, which does get another shot off. Nice hit. Actually stuns it. A couple of strollers coming in at the back there. Obviously... Medi realizing now that Razman has a reasonable amount of aircraft and is currently able to use them pretty freely. He has taken a loss though. 
That Leo 2A3 needs to get some repair badly. Otherwise, yeah, here's some repairs coming in now. I was going to say some M48s coming in as well. The problem with the M48s is they're not going to do a lot versus the T80 BVs. They're just going to get popped, popped, and popped. Up in the middle, we have a mortar in now for Medi. I don't know if that's for smoke or a little bit of harassment. Could be either. We'll see where it lands. I'm assuming back here somewhere. T80 BV in the center there, getting some shots off at the Jaeger Alf call. Leo 203 returning fire over at the far side. The T80 BVK had engaged there, has done more damage to Leo 203. That is on one pip of health. It needs to back off. It's so close to dying. Artillery coming in from Razman's side. And this is just casual mortaring going on at this side now. FOF came in to get a kill on the SU-17, but SU-17 is hanging back behind the air defense line. Nona's firing in on the Leo 2A3. Pretty accurate harassment. Marker has gone down on that tank. Oh, SU-17 comes in, does go down, but does a lot of damage. Leo 2A3 is in trouble. The tracks are broken. It's on like a slither of health. It fires back at the T-80 BV there. It is so lucky it's not dead. Oh, there it goes. Leo 2A3 goes down. Milan 2 trying to get shots on the T-80 BV still. Does not have many shots left by the looks of it, though. That was an unfortunate loss in the middle. Those Leo 203s obviously so, so important for this deck. And keeping them alive equally important. He does have a lot in this deck. It's not like the second Panzer Grenadiers where you are very limited. You do have more available to you here. And he does have, funnily enough, a Leo 2A4. I was about to say, the other thing you can have in this deck is a Leopard 2A4. Um, obviously a very good tank, but they are technically very, very limited. I don't have them in my deck, personally. Just because I know they're going to get targeted down. Although they are obviously very, very strong. Compared to the Leo 2A3, of course. We'll get their stats up. They have that 20 front armor, 21 penetration. And if we look at the 2A3, 2A3 only with 19 front armor and 20 penetration. And that one armor makes a huge, huge difference. It's not to be underestimated at all. Razman has seen off any advance at this side for the moment. Medi actually pulling his forces really far back. He has his own artillery piece in in the middle now. Leo 2A4 there. Artillery is counter-battering. You know, Razman's artillery perhaps hasn't moved again. Same as the first game. He got counter-batteried by Medi. And he hadn't moved his artillery. And it looks like the same's happened again. As I say, good players will always move their artillery. Sometimes you forget. Don't get me wrong. But uh, anyone who is also good will take advantage of the fact you have not moved it. They will keep an eye on where those shots are coming from. Nona dropping more shells on this Leo 2A4. It's actually doing a reasonable amount of damage. You'll just see it picking off chunks of health every time it gets a hit on target. And they are fairly accurate. Very little movement out of the bottom here. We do see Motostrelki... RPG-27 pushing up now, and those M48s all just sat in that corner waiting to defend. Really, it's all about what's going on in the middle, and at the moment, my concern is that it looks like Razman has a lot less on the field, and obviously, Medi has the advantage in points, and really, Razman has to progress somewhere on this map, and I'm just not sure where he's going to do it. There's another T-80BV coming in at the top of this map as well over here, where the MI-24K is also coming in. There's also Strella moving up now to fend off the Apache. 
Leopard 2 Air 4 has had to pull right back. That artillery still hasn't moved on Razman's side and is getting peppered. It is not long for this world. This side is now being cleared up by all of these units. He's got two T-80BVs already here. Another one rolling in on this back road at the bottom of the screen. The MI-24K rolling over that way. There's no anti-air at that side. The Roland 2 is moving in position to try and get it. Razman trying to push out at this side. He's got those M48s, but one is already dead. The Sprut got it. Sprut got a second one, I think, there. And the Sprut will get the third one. Razman, maybe a little bit of desperation here, needing to make some progress somewhere on the map, needing to distract Mehdi. Because at the moment, he is not in a good position. Mehdi with that huge advantage. Mehdi with the bigger force. And obviously, more and more T-80s rolling in with limited losses of infantry Medi's doing a good job of keeping his infantry alive or just to say alive and then reinforcing look at where Medi has got to at the top here now this is bad for Razman there's every chance that Medi could actually take the top of this point as well which will leave Razman with a slither down at the bottom Flea of Force pushing up with these arm bursts. Looking for some kills on these vehicles, namely the Spurt and the BMP. But obviously the Spetsraz Vepka at the other side. BMP goes down, Spurt is damaged. There's nothing really standing in the way of these armbrusts now. There is the command tank at the other side that could fire across, but is currently not engaging. The Leo 2A4 there has started to engage on the Spurt as well. No, it's backed off far enough that they can't see it anymore. Now the problem is... Razman is doing attack move, which obviously he does need to stand still to fire at this. There we go, the Leo 203 finishes the job. But in that situation, you want to keep eyes on as well. Sometimes it's worth running up to the unit that is moving slower and then attacking it from a closer range. Obviously in the heat of the moment, it is difficult to do that all the time. Just to state that, it's, it's not me picking fault, it's just a general piece of advice. Good artillery use by both players as Razman's, Razman's artillery has somehow survived all of that counter-battery fire. Genuinely surprised by that. He's got lucky again. Leo 2A4 is getting absolutely minced. I say minced. Really, it didn't take that much damage, did it? Command Leo 2A3 coming in down here. This is Razman's sign that he needs to get into this point. He's being very aggressive with the 2A4, which has already taken damage. Leo 2A3 going up there as well. There we go. T80 BVK takes a nasty hit from the Leo. T80. Still alive. The Leo needs to get a final blow here. There it goes. It's dead. Now if that Leo command tank can get in there. Razman will be in a better position. It means he'll be getting some points back. He has managed to stall Medi at this side. But those tanks are just getting repaired. And then they'll be ready to go in again. Leo 2A4 here very close to that T-80BV. T-80BV gets a kill. Leo 2A3 gets the final blow. The command tank. Command tank needs to get in that point though. MI-24K getting hit by the F4F goes down. Good kill. Razman pushing up his other units now. An MI-24 rocket coming in. Razman has been scared off going into the point. By that MI-24. The Roland should get some hits on it. But there is a rocket attack jet coming in. And there is another T-80BVK coming in at the back there. At this side, Zisharung's being hammered. Medi taking it nice and slow. Destroying a defensive line, then moving on. Destroying a defensive line, then moving on. Handling that very sensibly right now. Leopard 2A4, the back of this point hasn't been repaired. It's still damaged. Command tank there taking damage. It needs to get in this point, but there are RPG-27s coming in there. This Leo is going to be at risk. 
down here. Jaeger pushing out of this point, scaring off Medi's units. Rocket attack coming in there. Looking for a hit on that command. Doesn't get it. HE Bomber coming in as well now. HE Bomber possibly looking for a strike on this Leo. Does drop its bombs. Leo didn't know what it was doing with itself. Does it get away from the bombs? Just about. Minimal damage. Sprut there opening up on the... I think it's firing at the infantry rather than the command tank. Command tank does get a shot off at it though. Temporarily plus four for Razman. But look at this. Those command tanks have just charged through. He's looking for the command vehicle. They've gone straight past his units. Leo is being pushed up here. Gets a kill on the T-80. Two T-80 BVs still remain. Zishrung's obviously not able to deal with those tanks. But this T-80 BV that's around the back here, does Razman know it's there? I'm not sure he does. He's moving up this unrepaired Leo 2A4 back into the center. That poor Leo 2A3 is about to get sandwiched between these two tanks. Leo 2A3 hopefully turning into it. I don't know if it's on reverse or what. Oh, that was a nasty hit. They both take a good hit at each other. Over at this side, the skirmishing continues. T80 BVK is back in that point, though. Razman did get a little bonus there. But obviously, the outcome wasn't great. He has lost quite a lot of assaulting forces here. He did lose the Leo 2A4. Ideally, he needed more than that. He's moving his command tank into the middle, just in case he loses the command fox. My jet's coming in here. It's an anti-air jet. I'm not sure why that's come in. Marker has gone down on the command tank over there. Must have been spotted perhaps by the Panzer Grenadier Carl Gustav there. Let's have a look at that, actually. Yeah, it can just see where that tank is. Oh, that is a lucky positioning. Do we have laser guided bomber clusters coming in? We have cluster. Cluster will likely not finish it off, but we will see. Tank isn't moving. Decent hit, but only to half health. It would need two of those to do the job. But as I say, Medi's still making progress. He has lost all of his tanks in the middle, though. It was a costly excursion to try and kill that command, and the command survived. Don't get me wrong, Razman lost stuff too, and it's still looking good for Medi here. He has the control. Apache pushing in at the bottom here. MiG-27 HE coming in for a kill on... I'm not sure what it was coming in for. It didn't drop its bombs, though. It's been hit by multiple AA missiles. Motor Strelke here getting torn apart by all these Jaeger pushing up. The Apache rocket moving in there. If that Apache gets on top of the T-80 BVK, he should be able to kill it. There isn't actually any air defense there. Razman doesn't know it. The beauty of hindsight, the beauty of us being able to see everything. Little does he know he could go in there and kill that command tank right now. Lords of Mortars and Artie coming in this corner looking for a kill on that command tank. The Fox, I'm not sure what the plan is there. Moving the Fox into the back corner of this point, probably quite sensible. If he can't move the command out the middle at the moment. Those Jaeger will be moving up, trying to get on top of that T-80 BVK to get the kill. I still feel like Medi has the edge here, but Razban's not in a completely awful position. Medi has lost a lot of T-80 BVs. He's still got plenty in the deck, obviously. But he's not in a better position as he was five minutes ago before he killed the three at the other side. That was an expensive set of losses for Medi. Medi's still making progress, but it's a Leo 2 or 3 over there. A little bit concerned that there is a Razvedka BMP2 right round the back in that city. We could see Medi try and get a command round the back. It wouldn't be the first time he likes doing that. T80 BVK at the side of this point now with the other T80 BV. A Leo 2A3 that is elite moving in there. I wonder if that ranked up when it killed something on this map already. I don't think it was brought in as elite. Probably from killing a T80. 
Tornado HE coming in. What's it dropping on? I'm not sure if it's gone for the TADPV or the command tank there. Has gone for the command tank. Not enough damage though. Nowhere near enough damage. Jaegers here might get some kills on some of these units before they come in. Yes, it does. But that is a lot of BMP2s. Leo 2A3 pushing up on less than half health here. And the Leopard Command Tank in the middle there for Razman is on its last legs. SU-17 coming in, looking for a kill on that command tank. Surely it gets it. Yes, it does. And the command... The Fux command is moving to the other point. Currently plus three to Medi. Do we have another command coming in for Razman? If we zoom out... Nothing as yet. I thought he might have preemptively called one in. He is calling in a Leopard 1A5 command tank now. But by the time it gets there, the middle could be in a bad position. That said, look, Jaeger pushing out. Leo 2A4 pushing out. It's not looking horrendous. I'm a little bit concerned about the bottom point, though. Really, Razman would need to take this. Because although I'm pretty sure he could reclaim half of the center point here... By the time he's done that, reinforcements will have arrived at the other side, so he won't be able to do a full push there. And down here, look at all of this stuff that's arrived now. And that command tank is still alive for Medi. I don't think Razman can hold this. And my concern is then what's left back here. Not a lot. I just don't see... This working out for Razman. Still plus one to Medi because he controls the center. That Leo 2A4. The only remaining tank in the center. The other 2A3 has died somewhere. Lots of M48s over this side. Another Leo 2A4 called in. Weirdly, what I don't see from Razman's deck here is any Leo 1A5s. I see M48s, I see 2A3s, and I see 2A4s. Where are the damage dealers? Where are the 1A5s? Where are they? Where are the 1A, 1A1s? I'm assuming that Razman has a deck that is literally 1A5 command tanks, M48s, 2A3s, and 2A4s, and the 2A3 command tank. I'm thinking he perhaps doesn't have any 1A5s or 1A1A1s. And they are such brilliant damage dealers. They don't take the damage, but they can dish it out. But I've not seen any of those in the game, so I don't think Razman has them. And it is obviously a choice whether you bring a super heavy or you bring something that won't take the damage... But can dish it out. Now, they're not glass cannons. They will take punishment. But, obviously, they're not going to operate like a 2A4 will. But if you bring in a couple of 1A5s and a 2A3. 2A3 to take the damage. 1A5s to dish out some damage in addition to the 2A3. They're quite a good little fighting force. But the m 48 here, obviously, are a one-hit kill. And they are currently surrounded by tanks. Well, a sprut in the tank. HE bomber coming in at this side, but the command is already dead. I think this is over. I don't think Razman can pull this back now. Wait, did he move? Oh, he moved the Fuchs command back into the center. That was probably the sensible thing to do, to be fair. But he's just getting artillery now. As I say, he has sort of regained control a bit of the centre, but the reinforcements have arrived at the other side for Medi, as expected. So taking the entire point is not going to be easy. Another Leo 2A4 coming in. Now one of the things, Razman obviously is bringing in 2A4s at trained rather than veteran, which means he does get two per card, I believe. But very, very difficult. Legendary Razman Tank Micro. I mean... Your, your Tank Micro has been so-so this game, dude. No offense. 
I've seen you do better is more my thinking. I've seen you do better. He could also be memeing himself here because he thinks it's bad. Rasman is very good on micro. He's he's very good at giving lots of orders. Mix coming in there. I'm not sure what they're going for. Oh, they must be going for the Apache. Yes, they are. MiG-23 goes down. MiG-29 does get out, though. But at the moment, I think this game is very much over. Both players have lost a lot of units. But unfortunately for Razman, he's lost the map control early on. And Medi has gained a lot from that. And these MiG-29 is just dodging all the AA. Very hard fought by Razman, but spinning the map around. I mean, you can see here, there's just not a lot there. It's all piled into that corner. Medi is a lot more spread out, but he has a big pushing force at the bottom of the map. That Leopard 105 command tank gets back in here, makes it plus two. 21 minutes of the victory. Now, technically, he could catch up to Medi in points if he could maintain this. But, judging by the huge number of units down here, well, I say huge, reasonable number of units, he might struggle to do that. Obviously, the T-80BVK in a bit of an awkward position. Leo 2F4 in the middle, really badly damaged again. Those arm busts will come across here and should do quite a bit of damage. The Motostralki RPG-27 there, well, both squads are already low health. So. Rasman should be able to do some work here. Artillery coming in on those units though. Yeah, it's going for the command tank. It's got some nice hits already. Done a bit of damage. Does Rasman move it out of there? Currently, he's just taking the punishment. Oh, Leo 105 command is not looking healthy there. Artillery has finished firing for the moment, though. Medi pulling his forces back. Could we see a death of the T-80 BVK here? There is already another T-80 BVK on the way, might I add, though. So, even if it dies, I don't think Medi is going to be too upset about that. He doesn't have a lot in the middle. He's got plenty of defensive units and another T-80B V called in. Razman certainly must be running low on these heavy tanks now. He's got a 2A4 in the middle that is getting somewhat repaired. He's got a 2A4 here with the Leo 1A5, which is currently getting set upon. Oh, oh, Sprut B with the side shot. Absolutely annihilates it. Okay, yeah, Razman is memeing himself. Legendary Razman tank micro, yeah. Straight out to attack some infantry. Side shot by the Sprut. Those Spruts are nasty pieces of work, by the way. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, the command goes down to the RPG-27, unsurprisingly. And that is surely game. Well played, guys. Yeah, there you go. Well played, guys. Well played. Good effort there, Razman. Very close again, as I suspected there, uh, looking at the map from the kills to losses perspective. Well played, Medi. Good map control. Good tank play. Razman was struggling a wee bit in that game. Razman does have some good tank play, sometimes. I wouldn't like to face him here again, you know, when he's got a super heavy in Wargame Red Dragon. That Sprut gets MVP, doesn't it? It's got a lot of kills. I think of all the units in the game, Sprut gets MVP. Such a fantastic unit. And there we go, guys. 
that is realistically probably the last game I will do from the monthly Warner Tournament for October. Thank you everyone who's come along to join. Stay tuned to the channel. There will be casts from the upcoming slash already started now League 0 0.5. The SD League has got running. And there's three divisions there, so there's a ridiculous amount of games to cover. I will not be able to cover them all. I'll try and pick some interesting ones out. I can't promise, unfortunately, that obviously everyone will get coverage. But there's going to be other people casting games elsewhere on Twitch and everything else. So there's every chance that someone will catch your games. But there's going to be a lot of them to cover. For those who are interested, and I've hung around to the end, the winners of the October monthly were a wooden box for the Veterans League and Swine Dad for the Newbie League, if you want to call it that. I don't think it's fair to call it the Newbie League, the Rookie League. Either way, the second league for the monthly was Swine Dad and obviously a wooden box. Got the top slot. A little bit of faltering right at the end for T Man. But thank you, everyone who has joined. I hope it has been entertaining. I will stick with the controller. It has worked out pretty well uh, over the last few months in terms of showing off the camera movement and stuff. But thank you again for watching. Please do remember to subscribe. It really does help the channel. It means that I can put my feelers out to more publishers and things and get games to review as they like to see those numbers and everything in this industry is about numbers. That's why you should always wishlist games that you like the look of because that really helps the game developers out as well. But thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you all soon.